hello guys welcome back to my channel so guys in today's video i'm going to attempt to survive 100 days in minecraft hardcore world spoiler alert i did survive 100 days so guys if you don't know what is hardcore mode is it is basically if if you if you die in minecraft you won't respawn your world will be deleted so that is that is very scary and also guys if you like this video so please make sure you subscribe youtube analytics says that only small percentage of my viewer is is my subscriber so if you like this video so please make sure you subscribe anyways let's start our video so day one i respawn near the temple so first i cut down some tree then i made a crafting table then i made a wooden pickaxe after that I mine some stone. After mining some cobblestone, I made a stone pickaxe. Now I don't need a wooden pickaxe. Go away from here. And also, I mine some more stone. After mining some cobblestone, I found some coal. So I also mined it. After some mining, I killed some innocent sheep to get their wool so I can make some uh, make a bed. Feeling very very good after killing them. Not gonna lie. From the desert temple, I actually got some good loot. Nice. After killing some cows, I found a village. I never found a village. So I immediately start terrorizing. No, no, no. I mean doing business and helping them. I start helping them. After robbing the village, I found a horse. So I tamed it. And I just realized, this horse is so slow. After realizing my first horse was so slow, so I tamed another horse. And actually, this horse is much faster than, than my previous horse. On that day too, I chopped down some trees to make a house. On the same day, I gathered up some sugarcane and made my own sugarcane farm. On the day 3, I chopped down some more tree. On the day 4, I terraformed the area where I am going to build my house. On the day 5, I started building my house. Ah. On the day 6, I am still building my house. On the day 7, I am still building my house. Why are we still here? Just to suffer every night, every day. On the day 8, I was running out of wood, so I chopped down some more tree. I was doing so much reforestation. Don't ask me what happened in day 9. Day 10. My house was finally completed. It took me so long. Day 11, I started mining to become rich. On the same day, I found some iron. Now I can make iron pickaxe. Day 12, I'm still mining. After some off screen mining, now I am in full iron armor and also I have a shield. Day 13, I am building cobblestone stair. After some mining, I made some village and my business partner. Still doing the same thing in day 14. Feeling very good after slaving them. Huh. 
I collect some dirt to make a cow farm. Day 18. I started building cow their home. Day 19. I capture some cows. Day 20. I started building a wheat farm. Day 21. I feed my cows and after that I planted some wheat seed. After planting some seeds, I also harvest my sugarcane farm. On the same day, I also went to the mining. Who don't want to become rich? Hmm? Day 22. I only found some diamond. It took me so long to find it. Day 23. I was still mining. But I found some more diamond. So that is good. I am becoming richer. Day 24. I finally decided to go back home. I become richer than ever. After some mining, I feed my cows. They didn't know that I'm going to kill them. And then I made a diamond chest plate. On the same day, I also harvest my crops. On the day 25, I made my farm look more cool by placing torches in the pillars. On the day 26, I tried to get a magnetic book from the villager. Still trying to get a magnetic book from the villager in day 27. Why are we still here just to suffer every night, every day? On the day 29, I finally found the magnetic book. Why my luck is so bad? But still, I found the mending book, so that is good. On the next day, I expanded my sugarcane farm. After expanding the sugarcane farm, I also planned the area near my house. And then, I built a house for my horse. Day 31. I was running out of blocks to build my horse house. So I went to the mining to get some blocks so I can build my horse house. Day 32. I am still building my horse house. I know I am a good pet owner, right? On the next day, I went to the mine to become rich. Who don't want to become rich? I want to become rich. Hmm? After some mining, I crafted two blast furnace to smelt my iron faster. On the day 36, I harvest my wheat farm. On the same day, I want to get a fortune book. This stupid villager is not giving me the book. On the day 37, I crafted an anvil to enchant my pickaxe. After enchanting my pickaxe, I named my horse rider. After naming my horse, me and my horse went to an adventure. Day 43, I feed my cows. Day 44, I harvest my wheat farm. Day 45, I was running out of wood, so I cut down some tree. And after that, I also went to the cave to become rich. On the next day, I expanded my wheat farm. I was working on my farm 
and then this trader comes up out of nowhere. I don't know where he come from. So I killed him. Day 47. I was still working on my wheat farm. Day 48. I did little bit of terraforming near the farm. And after that, I went to mine. Day 51. I smelted iron and gold ore. Day 52. I harvested my wheat farm. On the same day, I started building a cobblestone XP farm. Day 53 to day 54, I light up the area near my house, so more mob will be spawned in my XP farm. Day 58, I cut down a lot of trees to craft trapdoor. I need trapdoor for the XP farm. Day 61, my XP farm was finally completed. And after that, I fed my cows. Now I have so many cows. Day 62. I went to the cave. Don't ask me why. And I found this villager. What he is doing here? Anyways, let's go to the cave. Let's become rich. Day 63. I harvest my crops. And after that, I fed my cows. My cows think that I love them, but I don't. <coughs> Anyways, let's move on to the video. Day 64. I finally remembered that I have to harvest my sugarcane farm. And after that, I kill a lot of cows. I mean a lot. Feeling good after that. I'm gonna lie. In the night, I place his torch all around my house so more mob will be spawned in my XP farm. Day 65. My villager who was selling me mending books became a zombie villager. I can't cure him right now. I don't have many stuff to cure him. And also, now I am at full set of diamond armor. Day 66. One of my villagers was selling me emerald for glass plane. So I meant a lot of sand to become rich. After mining a lot of sand, I fed my cows. My cow forget that I killed them. They love me again. <laughs> On the next day, one of my villagers was selling me emerald for beetroot, so I mined a lot of dirt to build a beetroot farm. Day 68, I traded with my villager to become rich. 
On the same day, I stay awake to get XP so I can repair my pickaxe. On day 69, I harvest my wheat farm and after that, I fed my cows. After feeding my cows, I trade with the villagers. On the day 70, I enchanted fortune 3 in my pickaxe. After enchanting my pickaxe, I also kill a lot of cows. Feeling very 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 good. After that. On the day 71, I went to the cave again. Don't ask me why. Don't ask me any question. On the day 74, I harvest my wheat and beetroot farm and after that I did some trading with my villager Day 75 I build a AFK bone mill farm On the same day, a trader spawned near my house, so I killed him and also his llamas. Come here, llama. I'm, I'm not going to hurt you. Come here, come here. Day 76, first I traded with my villagers and after that I feed my cows. After feeding my cows, I went to the cave. I want to be as much rich as I possibly can. The day 77, I kill so many innocent cows. On the day 78, I finally decided to build my enchanted table. On the day 79, I harvest my beetroot and wheat farm. Day 80, I traded with my villagers. I want to become so much richer than you can imagine guys. After trading with the villagers, I was killing a lot of mobs in my XP farm to get XP. And also, I stay awake on that night so I can get some more XP. On the day 81, I got an Unbreaking 3 uh -huh. enchanted book from one of my villagers. <laughs> my slave are working hard. And after trading with the villagers, I kill a lot of mobs in my XP farm. I was doing the same thing in day 82. On the next day, I harvest my beetroot farm and after that, I feed my cows. And after that, I mine a lot of sand. Because one of my villagers was selling me glass plane for emerald. On the day 84, I finally remember to harvest my sugarcane farm. And after that, I traded with the villagers. After trading with the villagers, I enchanted Unbreaking 3 in my pickaxe. On day 85, I just trade with the villagers more. On day 86, 
I harvest my wheat farm and after that I feed my cows. My cows think that I'm a good pet owner. Lol. Day 87 was a big day because I finally enchanted my armor. I'm looking very shiny. Day 88. I finally decided to go to the nether. Day 89. I harvest my beetroot farm and after that I traded with the villager. Day 90. I want to trade with the piglins. So that's why I went to the nether again. Day 92. It was a very very good day because I killed a lot of innocent animals. After killing a lot of innocent animals, I also uh -huh. traded with the villagers. I want to become as much rich as I possibly can. Uh -huh. Day 93, I was getting bored, so I catch some fish to keep me entertained. <laughs> After catching some fish, I also feed my cows. I'm such a good pet owner. Right guys? On the day 94, I got a power to enchanted book. Now I have a power 4 bow. On day 95, I harvest my wheat farm. On the same day, I also went to the mine. Guys, you don't have any idea how rich I am going to become. You will see in the day 100. Day 97. I harvest my beetroot farm and after that I also harvest my sugarcane farm. Day 98. I went to the nether again to get blaze rod. I need blaze rod to cure my villager. Guys look, I have one stack of diamond now. I am so rich. On day 100, I became a flexing king. So guys, that was my 100 days of Minecraft Hardcore. If you like this video, so please, please make sure to subscribe and like this video. This video took me so long to make. So anyways, have a nice day. Bye.